can't eliminate risk, but you can put it on a very short leash. DBI solid, what the guys up there want to wear. DBI Sala, located in Red Wing, Minnesota, is the world leader in fall arrest, restraint, and rescue equipment. Our systems are engineered, manufactured, and tested by a staff of professionals, all with one goal in mind, your safety. This presentation covers the RM3189-1 Fisk Descender System, a unique rope descent device. Various applications including rappelling, one-person descent, work positioning, and rescue operations will be shown. DBI Sala does not advise using the Fisk Descender or its associated system without first receiving proper training by a competent person as defined by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. This tape does not constitute a complete education on the device, but is designed to show some of its features and uses. Consult the owner's manual before using this system. The descender, made of investment cast 304 stainless steel, is designed to offer maximum versatility and simplicity. The Fisk descender system features a variable braking ratio, effective heat dispersion, and a quick locking action all uniquely combined to provide an effective descent system. A standard system would include the descender, the working line, connecting hooks and adapters, a boat swain's chair and harness, the independent lifeline with rope grab and lanyard, and the anchorage. Additional equipment is available to meet your particular needs. To rig the fist descender, grasp the rope and fold in half. Slide the rope through the top eye of the descender from the back side, keeping the left rope to anchor. Open folded rope to make a loop. Wrap rope around the outside of the descender. Next, pass the folded rope through the center eye and around the outside of the bottom eye. The device is now rigged. When the Fisk descender is properly rigged with an approved working line, the device effectively minimizes rope wear. As the rope passes through, it contacts the descender on all sides and in large, gentle radiuses, never being kinked or formed over sharp bends. To operate, connect the independent lifeline and pull slack from line. Connect the descender to the boatswain's chair or harness with a locking hook. Always maintain tension on tag end when locking or unlocking to prevent accidental descent. To regulate descent motion, take the tension off the tag end of the rope. For initial lock off position, pull down on the tag end of the rope and wrap around the bottom ear. Pull rope up and over top ear. The line is now secure. For more permanent lock off, Pull the tag end of the rope through center eye of descender and pass over the top ear. Upon receiving and understanding the proper instructions on the system and completing the training requirements, the user will be able to perform various operations. One of the most widely performed applications is single person descent and work positioning. From the locked mode, descent is achieved by unwrapping the rope in a smooth, circular motion from around the ears while maintaining tension on the tag end. Gently release tension on tag end and allow rope to flow through device. To stop, increase tension on the tag end of rope by pulling downward on the line. 
initial or more permanent lock-off can now be performed as explained earlier. Upon completion of work at this level, repeat descent steps as previously explained. Once the user has gained experience in operating this system, several variations can be used to adapt to your particular application, such as rescue operations. For the skilled and technically advanced user, the braking ratio can be changed by modifying the standard rigging. This will allow for a greater descent speed and may be used when repelling. Other variations include increasing the braking power of the system by increasing the number of windings around the ears. This is an effective mode when used for rescue operations or when lowering heavy loads. Now let's take a closer look at the components of the system. Like all parts of the system, selection of the working descent line as well as the independent lifeline is very critical. Things to consider include the size of the line, strength, elongation, fiber type, and construction. The working descent line chosen must meet the minimum requirements established by DBI Sala. The following ropes have been carefully selected and approved for use with the Fisk Descender. For working loads up to 440 pounds, we recommend one of the following ropes be used. The RM3221 is a one half inch diameter Kern mantle with a 10,000 pound tensile strength. The rope consists of a continuous filament polyester cover braided over a continuous filament nylon core. The RM3222 is a one half inch diameter polyester S-braid rope with a 9,300 pound tensile strength. And the RM3223 is a one half inch diameter nylon S-braid rope with a 9,200 pound tensile strength. Additional ropes are being reviewed for use with the system. Whichever rope you select, a visual inspection must be performed before each use. Be certain to consult the owner's manual concerning the use and care of the working descent line and the independent lifeline. Several areas are addressed in the manual, including rope selection, handling, and inspection. The anchorage you select must be capable of supporting at least 5,000 pounds per person. Because knots reduce the rope strength, try to avoid them. If they must be used, we recommend the use of a figure eight knot followed by a water knot. When terminating lines, make certain the correct thimbles are used. Once the line is connected to the anchorage, make certain precautions are taken to protect the rope on all edges various equipment is available for this. The hardware used must be compatible in strength and size. Double locking type hooks should be used. The harness and or boat swains chair selected must be compatible with all other components, including the hardware. Make sure the model selected is comfortable, provides the correct support, and is designed and constructed with the required features. An independent lifeline is required when using the Fisk Descender. It shall be connected to a separate anchorage capable of supporting 5,000 pounds. A typical lifeline setup includes the approved rope, counterweight, lanyard, and rope grab, such as the model LS1441. This device is a mobile grab featuring both inertia and cam locking actions. The descender itself meets applicable strength requirements, including NFPA 1983 and all current or proposed OSHA requirements. Each device is 100% proof loaded to 5,000 pounds, according to OSHA requirements. In addition, various tests are performed to show the effectiveness of the system. In this test, the fist descender will be used to arrest a falling object after having been permanently locked off onto the descent line. The descent line is connected to the anchorage via an electronic force measuring system. The Fisk descender is locked off at a level one foot below the anchorage. Attached to the lower ring of the device is a six foot long wire rope test lanyard, which in turn is connected to the test weight. The 300 pound weight will be positioned for a seven and a half foot free fall. The Fisk descender acts to absorb the fall energy by sliding a controlled distance down the descent line. 
The arresting force and arrest distance generated in this test are 2,764 pounds arresting force and 12 and a half inches, respectively. Next, the device will be tested in the locked belaying mode. Forces generated at the belay anchorage will be electronically measured. A 9.9 foot length of rope is used to arrange for the belay test. The test weight of 440 pounds is attached to the end of the belay rope and raised to a position creating a 3.3 foot free fall. The arresting force and arresting distance measured are 1,776 pounds arresting force and 72 inches respectively. As previously mentioned, the Fisk Descender system must not be used until proper training has been received. This device is for professional use only and requires awareness of rope descent devices, as well as applicable local, state, and federal safety regulations. All instructions, including the proper use, inspection, and storage of the system must be followed. When used properly, the Fisk Descender system provides today's professional with an effective means of rope descent. If you have any questions, we suggest you further review the user instruction manual sent with each unit. If additional information or copies of the instructions are needed, please contact DBI Sala or visit DBI Sala's website at www.dbisala.com. You can never let up on safety. That's why we back our fall protection systems with the best training technical assistance, and customer service in the business. After all, the decisions we make on the ground can make all the difference to the guys above it. DBI Sala, what the guys up there want to wear.